All the code that we would be using for this tutorial is in github.com. We use the repository in 28 minutes, in 28 minutes, and you can look up Spring in 28 minutes. That's where all the code for this particular tutorial is. And you can download the zip and you can unzip to a folder. If you look at it right here, we have a lot of examples in here. As you can see, we have eight different uh, projects and we use Eclipse. We use obviously Java and we would be using Maven uh, to maintain the dependencies of our projects. If you don't know how to install Java, Eclipse and Maven, here's the installation guide. So you can use this installation guide and install Java, Eclipse and Maven, everything, and you can get set for this particular tutorial. As I said earlier, you can download the zip and extract to some folder in your local machine. You can now see the folder structure which ha I have in my local machine. So I've extracted the zip to Spring in 28 minutes and I have all the examples in this particular folder down in here. So this is how the whole thing is structured. Now I can launch up Eclipse. You can, so I'll launch up Eclipse. It asks me for a workspace. So you can type in something which ends with a Spring Tutorial. A workspace is basically the place where Eclipse stores all its settings. So enter some folder in here and press OK. Now Eclipse launches up. I would want to import all the projects that we have downloaded. So I would say file import existing Maven projects. Click next and in here select the directory where you have extracted your zip. I have extracted it into spring in 28 minutes. So I put it in spring 28 minutes. So if I go back and show exactly what we are doing again, it's in Maven we have selected existing Maven projects. So file import existing Maven projects and I click next and I selected the directory where I have extracted the zip and it lists down a varied range of projects. Uh, it shows the first example, basic example, real world example and JDBC example, Spring JDBC, a lot of things. So just import all of them and click finish. This should take a while because it's importing all the Maven projects. Probably it's also downloading the dependencies from the Maven Nexus repositories. So it might take some time for the entire thing to complete. So please wait for the whole thing to complete and then you should have everything set up. If you still have problems with any of this, then probably you need to go and check the, you can check the installation guide, which is in here, which should help you to get going. So if you have any problems, the installation guide should help you to resolve those problems. Before we start with the next example, please try and be set up with this particular thing.